Welcome back. This is an Alex training video on writing the half reactions of a metal non-metal reaction. Half reactions are just telling me is an electron being gained or lost whenever you have a, an oxidation or a redox uh, reaction. So in a redox reaction, it's called redox because it's reduction oxidation. Reduction is where an electron is gained to something, some element didn't have the electron and now it does, so it's more negative than it was. Oxidation is when it had the electron at the beginning and it gave it away, and at, by giving it away, it became more positive in charge. So you can tell simply by looking at the balance equation and finding out what does it have at the beginning and end. So let's look first of all at zinc. Zinc is a metal, and zinc is an elemental metal. You can see this in the periodic table. Anytime you have a form of an element in its free state, the state you would see it in on a periodic table, say solid zinc, it will have an oxidation number of zero. Likewise, chlorine gas, Cl2, chlorine is a diatomic molecule. So whenever you see it in nature, it will be Cl2. Because this is the free state of chlorine, it has an oxidation number of zero. Whenever you have a compound together, this is when you're gonna have charges. So we remember that chlorine is in group seven. It has, an, it has a charge of negative one when, it, has, when it, it would like to steal an electron to become uh, a group eight, uh, have a configuration equal to noble gas. So this, if it does steal, it becomes a negative one. So if, if this one is negative one and I have two of them, that means your zinc is going to, to balance with two negative ones. But all of this will always be equal, or zero, so that means that the zinc has to be positive two, okay? All right, so I've got some oxidation numbers. Now I know which ones have gone up and which ones have gone down. Your oxidation is the one that's going up, and your reduction is the one that goes down. Reduction is reducing in charge. As I take on an electron, I become more negative and, my, and I've been reduced as a result. All right, so you just look at the one that went up. Zinc went from zero to positive two. So I'm simply going to say zinc goes up to zinc two plus. And then the reduction, I'm gonna have Cl2 goes to two Cl minuses. Now this, this is a compound, which means that, that it's a solution, it's in solution, and it will break apart. And if it breaks apart into charges, what do they break apart as? Two negative ones. So this will be two chlorine ions. All right, now this is almost finished. We're almost done. There's only one more thing that we have to account for, and that's the electron that exchanged. How many electrons went out? How many electrons came back? Um, and then when it's all balanced, you'll see that exactly the same number of electrons that went out came in. They went out of one species into another. So let's look for here. From zero to two, I have gone up by two. That means I've given away two electrons, and I'm going to add the two here. Now let's see why. The charge here is zero, the charge here is zero. Do you see I have a positive two and a negative two together, so there's zero on this side and zero on this side. So that's why you add the, the electron to the side that's most positive so that it balances, okay? Likewise, which here is more positive? This is a zero, this is a negative. That means your zero is actually more positive than your negative. So, uh, and how many electrons change places? This was from zero down to two negative ones. That means that, I, that uh, I had to take two electrons and it goes on this side. Why? Because this side is two negatives. Now this side is two negatives. I need them both to balance. And this is your answer. Your oxidation is going to be Zn to Zn2 plus, plus two electrons. Your reduction is, this is Cl, Cl2, 
plus two electrons yields two Cl1. I hope that helps.